So you've thought about why you want to do the peer review. You've thought about what you want to have peer reviewed so that you can fulfill the aims you set as part of your thinking about the why. Now you need to think about who's going to peer review you. Who can you get to peer review you that's going to be the right person to look at that aspect of your teaching to answer those questions that you set for yourself as part of the why, the reason why you're doing this. So you need to think about who is it going to be? Is it going to be a colleague, someone you've known for years, someone in your own discipline, someone who's a recognised teaching expert, really proficient at teaching? There's a whole range of possibilities there. But it's not just limited to people in your department. You might know people outside your department, um, people in your own discipline or people in other disciplines. Uh, and they might have um, different strengths to bring to the process. People in your discipline will know your area. So they'll be able to, to, to look at things like you know, the technical delivery of material. Are you getting across the core concepts of your discipline? And someone from outside your discipline isn't going to be so familiar with that. But people from outside your discipline might be able to look at your teaching more in a different light as to, well, if I don't know much about your discipline, but after being looking at your materials or, or observing you in the classroom, I now know a bit about your discipline, then they can say, well, yes, there's something good going on here in the teaching. Uh, or they might even be educational professionals. They might be, um, be from an education department or simply be recognised educators within their own discipline and you're asking them to observe your teaching because you want the input from that sort of person. Another thing that, to think about though as well is what is my relationship with the person that I'm going to get to do the peer review. Um, you'd want someone that you're comfortable with, that you're going to be able to have a discussion with, that you think is going to give you the honest answers. But you also have to make clear, especially if it's someone who you know really well, get on with, you know, written lots of papers with, that they don't fall into the well, hey, this is my friend, I'm not going to say anything bad about them. You need to be clear uh, that, that you're willing to take whatever feedback is the best for your teaching. Uh, so you need to take all that into account uh, in the relationship. So there's two really important points to think about in the who. Who can give me the right feedback about the material that's to be reviewed, that's to be the, the focus of this peer review, and that will address the, the why am I doing this in the first place, and are they people that I can work with and will give me that feedback, that's the right sort of feedback that I need. So there's a couple of other things you should think about about who. One thing is how many, how many people. It doesn't have to be just one person to do the peer review. It might be a good idea to get more than one. Probably not too many because then it becomes logistically difficult to organise the whole thing. But having more than one person review you allows you to get multiple points of view. The more feedback, the more things that you can take into account, the more chance you have of getting the feedback that you need to get the right result out of the peer review. Uh, so you need to think about that as to how many people. Another thing to think about uh, when you're deciding on who is the issue of the, and the idea of, well, if you're going to peer review me, maybe I should peer review you. Because another thing to remember about peer review is that you can often learn as much that's useful to your teaching by observing someone else and giving them feedback as you can by having them observe you and them giving you, you, fe giving you feedback. So approaching, when you approach someone to say, hey, could you peer review me? You might want to think about, well, and then I can peer review you if you want. Yeah.